Matt here from Sate Design, and today I just want to quickly give you a few notes on how to paint a mobile home. First off, I'm using extensions. This is a pole that extends, I think, up to 13 feet. I've got an 18 foot one also. So, tools for the job sunscreen, hat, hair tie, which I have all of them. <laughs> um, and then I have this amazing stain brush. I wanted it bigger, but they didn't have any at the store. So, and this just screws on. And then it's very easy to paint. And this is good because it can get inside up above. And then you have to get the seams. Now the seams can move. That's kind of crazy too. So this brush, you know, I can put it on here. And then go all the way up, you know, and get my edge. Here I am painting a mobile home in Napa Valley. It's coming out amazing. Check out this ceiling. That's just primed. It's like a metal awning. And this is vinyl siding. So it's flexible. It's very weird to paint. Now, it's got this whole front area too that I'm gonna go blue. I'm going to take you around the back and show you what it looks like. They put in new windows. And so there's the old one underneath that I'm going to paint white, that trim there. And this is going to get painted also. But what I want to tell you about painting a mobile home that I did not know after painting for 25 years. Um, because I haven't painted very many mobile homes, but when it's vinyl siding, the original color should not be darker. There's the original color white, it's going blue, it shouldn't be darker. But of course, in this case it is, but at the paint store they advised me, as long as it wasn't too dark, that this was gonna be okay, and in fact it is, it warps. If you do dark, dark, like a dark blue, I, we originally wanted a darker blue, and they said, nope, it's going to work. So that was very important to know. And in fact, it's a little bit warped anyways, because this is from the 1960s. So that's what the ceiling looked like originally. It's got this floral or leaf and flower pattern which is pretty bad. It just makes it look so much cleaner and simpler. So that's one, this is what it looked like originally. Now for the ceiling here, this, I used a roller traditional roller with one that has some good nap. And then I have also, you know, some thick normal brushes, paint brushes like this. And if you want to know this blue, I don't remember the name of it, but the color is 835 Benjamin Moore. And I'm doing this low luster, which is a, has a little bit of a finish on it, but it's not shiny. Regal Benjamin Moore, and it's for exterior, so this is something that will go over vinyl siding, and I think it goes over metal. It's coming along pretty, right? I still need to do, well, I still need to do a lot of it. I hope they're not going to put the shutters back on but I'm painting the shutters too. My issue with the shutters is they're smaller than the windows on the sides. Form should follow function. Come on, form follows function is always the best design. Very easy, make sure vinyl siding, don't get the color too dark or with the sun and the darkness with the original color lighter underneath, it warps it. Who knew? I didn't. Okay, get painting, girls, 
and boys, Amici, Mie, 